guys, it is early morning, happy weekend. I got up, I did 100 crunches with Blogilates as part of her 1000 ab routine. Got dressed, I've had no coffee. I'm gonna put on some sunscreen and then later I'm gonna film a video for you guys. Um, run some errands, get the car washed. Um, I do some stuff in the kitchen and then tonight I'm gonna try out a new hair oil from Derma E. But um, I wanted to share with you guys, first off, uh, I haven't put any sunscreen on yet. I bought the new Black Girl sunscreen, the matte, SPF 45. And I tried it out yesterday and I like it. It's a chemical sunscreen, there's zero cast, and it's kind of the consistency of the Kylie Skin SPF that I liked so much last year, but a little bit more emollient. Um, yeah, it says it's matte, but it's not super matte. I just put some moisturizer on this morning too. That's why my face looks a little shiny. But see, it goes on like super clear. It's water resistant. There's no oxybenzone in this. That's the chemical filter that I find burns and stings, especially around my eyes. But this, because it doesn't have that, I'm fine with. Yeah, I finished up their SPF, is it 45, the kids sunscreen, and I really like that. It's um, great, no cast for that either, and both, pro both this and that, they both give the skin a nice like glow. This one doesn't pill or anything either, which I like. Yeah, I need to wash my car today because, ugh, like the snow and everything. I mean, we didn't really get that much snow and my car was in the garage, but I don't know. It got like really dirty, so I need to wash it. <clears throat> and I also need to get gas. I'm gonna run by Costco um, and get gas, which means I'm gonna run to Costco and sit in line for a long time. Uh, this is one of those headbands that I got from iHerb. I love them. Vintage Cosmetics, I think it's called. What I like about the sunscreen too is like it spreads on the <clears throat> spreads on the skin really easily. <laughs> It'd be nice if they came out with a tinted some tinted sunscreens. Oh, my ear itches right here. Speaking of which, I need to show them a little love. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna film my favorites video for you guys today, which you should have already watched, should be up at this point. But, um, so I have to collate the things that I loved this month. I finished a book last night, which is gonna be in the video. The, um, Ear massage. The uh, Kristen Hanna book, Firefly Lane. Uh, I don't have a lot to say right now because this is relaxing and I haven't had any coffee. So, what more can you expect from me? One thing I have to do today is order more mascara. I love this Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. Begins. But uh, you can buy it at Ulta in store only. You used to be able to buy it online, but like, like they decided you can't do that anymore. It's just like too, too convenient. So you can only buy it online from Thrive Cosmetics and the shipping is like really expensive, but they're currently having, as of today, I believe a free, Free shipping. Let me position you better. Good, you make me better. Looks pretty good, right? The sunscreen, I like it. Shiny, 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 shiny. I'm doing a hula dance, I don't know. I'm wearing those new, let me take you off the 
tripod. Actually, I'm gonna keep you on the tripod. <laughs> I'm wearing those new denim shorts that I got from Amazon. They are so comfortable, except one thing I don't like about them, the fringe, it kind of, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's pseudo hula skirt, but for hanging out around the house, not too bad. They're pretty comfortable. In fact, they're almost too comfortable. <laughs> All right, the time is now. Let's get that talking juice going. Oh, I don't want to wait the six minutes for it to bruise. I have an instant there to tide me over. <laughs> I've been loving this Mardi Gras king cake. So good. I don't think I've had any other of the community coffees. I think I had one and I didn't care for it. This is the only one that... I ever feel compelled to break, to buy, to break. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Just one cup, you guys, just one cup. That's all, that's all I'm having. <laughs> and that little instant one, so. fill her up oh let's get fancy you want to get fancy you want to get fancy swizzle tap okay. all right now we gotta wait six minutes Finalmente. You might have noticed I caught some new jewelry. Ana Luisa was nice enough to send me a necklace and a bracelet. Everything comes in these nice envelopes that you can store your pieces in so that they don't, you know, scratch up against things and stay looking great. I mean, they're very good quality. I highly recommend them if you are looking for good quality pieces. Their pieces are like really easy to style too. They're kind of, they're suitable to people who just like more minimalist jewelry. They really go the extra mile to offset their carbon footprint. Starting with the sourcing of the raw materials all the way to disposal of their pieces. And there's no luxury markup. You can find pieces from Ana Luisa starting at $39. They use only the best noble metals offering pieces that are long lasting and crafted with care. I know you guys are going to love it. Use code Andrea Suarez 10 for 10% off your Ana Luisa order. So thank you, Ana Luisa, for the discount code and for the pieces and for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. All right, y'all, we're getting it done here. All right, it helps to take your foot off the brake, Andrea. Uh, I love these car washes. I just have to remember that my, my windshield wipers will automatically turn on, so I have to remember to turn them off before I get in these. Isn't this zen, you guys? I love the car wash. Not the car wash. I like this one too because it's pretty quick and they do a good job.
have a clean car. Here we are getting the gasolina. Been in line for a while. All right, y'all. I'm gonna make up some baked oatmeal bars, if you will, to have to snack on and to munch on for snacks and breakfast. And I don't know any other time I feel like it. Um, so I'm gonna start with oatmeal, but I'm gonna grind it on up into flour. Um, that was actually probably optional for this recipe that I'm inventing as we go along. <laughs> I put on my uh, I put on my blanket coat as I call it because there's a little bit of a draft going on a draft and by that I don't mean NFL as though I know anything about that um, which I don't oh you guys I've got to update you remember I purchased this uh, was it last weekend at Costco not Costco Kroger this Kashi Go cereal it is delicious. As a matter of fact, this is a new box. <laughs> um, it's actually pretty good. Okay, I need to backtrack. I said delicious. Um, for a cereal made out of beans, it is delicious. It's got, it's obviously vegan. Uh, it's made out of lentil, lentil protein and chickpea flour, pea protein, chicory root starch, and it's sweetened with monk fruit. It's got vanilla in it. I like it because one cup has 12 grams of protein and only one gram of sugar. Uh, so yeah, it's supposed to be keto friendly or whatever, but I actually really like this. I mean, it's a good breakfast cereal. I actually got this one and I want to try the dark cocoa next. I got the dark cocoa too, so we'll see how that is. The dark cocoa likewise has 12 grams of protein and only one gram of sugar. So that's pretty good for a cereal. I'm not gonna be too, how oh, zoomed in are you guys, here we go. I'm not gonna be too picky about the uh, pulverization of the oats because like, I don't know, I kinda like a few chunks in there. Oops. But, just to, yeah, I like a few chunks of intact oats and then the rest pulverized. So. This recipe, if I play my cards right, because <laughs> I got a deck here, should actually be budget friendly as well. Um, so for those of you watching your grocery bill should be relatively affordable. And by relatively, I mean, you guys know I like to, I have a, you know, kind of an expensive pantry. I won't, I won't think twice of spending, like that cereal that I just showed you is like, I think like $8 or something ridiculous. I actually got it with a rebate on Ibotta, um, by the way. But yeah, I don't think twice about dropping change on like intriguing foods. Um, but shoes, handbags, skincare products, and I, I quibble. I think it would be fun though to do a challenge, challenge myself to see if I can eat for like $10 a week or something. Have you guys seen those videos on YouTube? They're fun to watch. I think that would be a, just a little fun personal challenge to do. I think, you know, I could do it pretty easily, but um, yeah, I've always thought about doing that, but then I get tempted by some expensive bean cereal and that all goes out the window. Um, all right, I got some baking powder here. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of baking powder. And actually I'm gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder. That seems better. One teaspoon of baking soda. Um alright, so let's combine these things. 
I have here one and two thirds banana. You guys know my banana chopping system. I've got this many in here and then I've got a brand new bunch that is ready to be peeled. So if it's looking like I need more leaky though, then there we go. All right, so we've got those and we're gonna do some maple shizzer up here from none other than the fine Kirkland family. I like these jugs of maple syrup too because I just keep my maple syrup in the refrigerator. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I find that they don't get drippy like the little glass maple syrup thing that you can get at the grocery store that has a screw top lid. That just turns into a mess and then the lid crystallizes on there and it's just a pain in the buttocks. Um, so yeah, I prefer, I prefer that little jug. Juggernaut. All right, what am I looking for? Oh, I'm busting out my new, my new rainbow beakers. These were an Amazon acquisition done right. All right, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, like a quarter of a cup of shizzerp. Wait, do I have a smaller one? I'm still getting used to these. Quarter of a cup of shizzerp going in, which is two ounces of shiz. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. All right, does this have a spoon measurement on it either? No, it doesn't. All right, shizzerp going in. Half a tablespoon of vanilla. And maybe and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. All right. All right. Moisten everything. Perfect. I don't need any more anything. Looks like it came together pretty easily. And then to kick it up a notch, totally optional. I'm gonna just put in some raisins. This too was on Ibotta. I got a rebate for this. And I'm not gonna measure reasons. I ain't got time for that. I'm just gonna put them in. Uh. Now I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. Oh, you know what I could have added, which I've added to pretty much everything that I forgot. Cinnamon, yeah. Add cinnamon, definitely add cinnamon if you have it. I have it, I just brain farted. All right, this is gonna go in the oven, 350 degrees for, I'm gonna say, because I'm making this up, I'm just gonna put it in for 25 minutes, but I'm gonna keep my eye on it because they are, they're not super thick. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just took these out and they smell delicious. 25 minutes, 350 degrees, that was magic. So I'm gonna let those cool and I don't know, I might I might go ahead and chop them up, slice them up. All right, so the oat bars came to a complete cool and they just pop right out of the tin and I sliced them up and they look like they're gonna be great for breakfast. All right, Dermy E came out with some new hair care products that actually look kind of cool. Um, and tonight I'm gonna try out this bonding hair repair oil they sent me. It's got, um, what does it have? Jojoba seed oil, sunflower seed oil, safflower seed oil, chaga mushroom oil, amla, amla oil. You know, my hair, I have had so-so results with using oils. Sometimes just, 
the oils just don't distribute well. Um, so I don't know how well this is gonna go for my hair type, but oils can be helpful for people whose hair is like coarser, more prone to breakage. Um, just for me, like sometimes, you know, I've had good success with jojoba seed oil, so I'm optimistic about this. Um, it does say there's natural, it says natural fragrance sweet apricot oil okay there's sweet apricot oil in this i think it gives it a little bit of an aroma i'm not really smelling anything but hey, let me take my hair out of here tell you guys um i <laughs> went out before i hopped in the shower to take the trash out and i'll be darned on my way out i saw not one not two but three massive mosquitoes i'm like what the heck you like remember i was talking about right before snowpocalypse when i knew we were gonna get the freeze i was like maybe it'll help with the mosquito situation i mean i knew it wasn't going to do anything about mosquitoes this summer because the eggs are like resistant to freeze or whatever but you would have thought that the freeze we had would have killed the mosquitoes i was like why are you not dead? Why are you not dead? <laughs> you should be dead. Why are you bothering me? And I was just like, uh, they're, they're just massive and in your face and they have an attitude problem. I'm not a fan of mosquitoes. Oh, and they harbor diseases too. <laughs> All right, so it says to gently work into wet hair from roots to tips. For best results, first wash and condition hair which I just did. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm trying out some different hair care products. I'm gonna be doing a video for you guys. Um, just some different products that I've been trying out um, from different brands and stuff. I thought it'd be fun. Since I always, you know, I love Function of Beauty, but you guys oftentimes are like, is there any other brand that you might wanna try? So yeah, I'm trying out some different stuff for my hair. All right, I'm just gonna put it, you know, ooh. <laughs> put it on the floor. I'm just going to put it starting here and work it down because I'm, I don't want to put it on my scalp. I feel like that'll just make it too greasy. I would. It actually does get into the hair while it's, it's working into my hair while I see some oils. I don't know what it is about their properties, but I put them, I try to put them on my hair, damp, dry, whatever. And they just kind of all, all hit like one strand and weigh it down and make it look greasy one or two strands and then you know the rest are like not affected not impacted by it it's like what is that hmm this is actually kind of nice I'll do a little bit more I like this bottle too because it doesn't like pour out it kind of drops out so you can control the amount better cool yeah i'm gonna keep trying this out see how it works out for me it may end up being too you know my hair type may be too fine for it but it seems like a good oil to use it says bonding bonding hair repair oil i guess that you know if you've got if you've had your hair treated chemically i think these kinds of things can be helpful yeah, I, um, you know, you, you do have to be careful with hair oils. If you have dandruff, you want to make sure you don't get them on your scalp. That can, in some cases, just aggravate seborrhea. Namely, if it's like peanut oil or something. But um, this, I think, is good for the strands. It's not, you know, jojoba seed oil is actually really good. And so is, so is argan oil. Coconut oil is good, although, you know, some people complain that it that it breaks them out. I've never had that issue actually. Like my giant hair towel smile. <laughs> this kind of looks like a hammock. Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget, check out Ana Luisa Jewelry. Love them to death. And yeah, take advantage of my discount code to save even more. They're already affordable at baseline. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.